Hello, good morning, dear Swift learners. How are you all? I hope that you all are fine and safe at your homes. And I am back with a new session for you all. But before telling you what our new session is about, we will have a quick tour around Swift Learn and see what is Swift Learn all about. So Swift Learn it is India's most sincere learning destination, wherein you will be getting the classes for grade one to grade ten. Over here, you will have hundred percent live interactive classes. in which you will be having uh, maximum 6 students in every batch so that teachers can pay attention to every student apart from teachers we also have academic mentor team which will be tracking your progress and will which will be guiding you through the same we also cover the syllabus as per your school exam schedule and also handle custom requests apart from that we also have some of the key features that makes swiftlearn all the more very special first is detailed progress report that is your progress report will include everything it will be given to you at the end of every month and it will be including <coughs> i'm sorry everything from your test from your homework from your behavior from your leaderboard every single thing after that you have swift learn academic test series in which you can compete with the students of your grade and you can see your position where do you stand and what are the things that you need to improve You can also take unlimited practice tests, which are available on the Swiftland portal, which include subjective tests also. So you just need to go to Play Store, download the Swiftland app, and book your very free trial class. Okay, so kindly subscribe to the channel of Swiftland and press the bell icon so that you do not miss on any update. And if you like the video, press on like button. All right. So we were doing elements, compounds, and mixtures. We have already completed three sessions of it, and today it is our fourth session in which we will be learning a bit more about elements, compounds, and mixtures. So today we are going to basically focus on mixture. What is mixture? What are the properties? What are the types? And how to separate the components of mixture. So atom. First of all. what is atom atom is the smallest indivisible particle of any element that has got all the properties of the element define compound and state their properties so compound they are formed by combination of two or more elements the properties are they are combined in the fixed ratio they cannot be uh, separated by simple techniques they need some basic chemical methods to separate their constituents they are written by using their molecular formula that we have learnt in the previous classes now if i talk about lemon squash so what is lemon squash made up of lemon obviously water sugar salt etc so these are the things that a lemon squash is made up of okay now if i say lemon squash is a mixture i am absolutely correct so most of the times the substances that we see around us they are not in their pure form they are you know a combination or a mixture of two or more substances so the result that is formed after combining the substances okay that is known as mixture okay it does not lose its, uh, its individuality not they are combined chemically we are not doing any chemical reaction to combine them but just through physical methods and that is a mixture so if i talk about a salad yes it's a mixture so if i we separate the constituents we have spinach we have mushroom we have tomato so now we have separated the constituents right mixture they are made up of two or more substances which are not chemically combined with each other it may consist of element or compound or both and they can be solid liquid or gaseous it depends on their physical state so there are some of the properties of mixture first is the components of mixture keep their original properties that is they do not lose their properties their separation can be very easy we can easily separate the components the proportion of component is is variable so as in case of compound there are uh, uh, mixture is not having any fixed proportion and examples are first of all crude oil so it is a mixture of organic compounds uh, which are mainly hydrocarbons then sea water which has salt various type of salts and water 
we have air which is a mixture of gases like oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen argon neon etc etc so there are these all mixtures and next is ink so here ink we have a mixture of color dyes now type of mixture so type are two homogeneous and heterogeneous we have two type of mixture homo and heterogeneous <coughs> what is the difference between both of them let us see so hetero means non uniform so heterogeneous mixtures are those mixtures whose composition is non uniform and they are having two or maybe more than two phases we can separate them out physically okay and in case of homogeneous mixture they have uniform composition throughout and it has only one phase okay so they do not have more phases and we cannot separate them out physically homo means same and hetero means different so see in homogeneous mixture you can see there is a particular pattern right but in heterogeneous there is no pattern so that is the basic difference heterogeneous mixture it is a kind of mixture in which the constituents in which the components they are not uniformly distributed okay and we can see them separately and their properties and their composition they can change throughout the mixture and example is oil in water homogeneous mixture the properties are same why because the constituents are very uniformly distributed okay for example if i talk about solution of salt in water so salt and water salt dissolves in water completely and therefore it is known as homogeneous mixture similarly with the cases with alcohol in water it can be concluded that almost everything in our vicinity is nothing but a mixture so whatever we have in our environment most of the things are mixture the food we eat the air we breathe breathe, oh, breathe i'm sorry the fuel that we use okay so all the things are mixtures what are the key properties of mixture so talking about the properties of mixture the composition is not uniform throughout it can be of two types homogeneous and heterogeneous homo means the composition is same and hetero means the composition is different and we can separate them out physically because they are having two or more than two phases is vinegar a mixture so yes vinegar is a mixture of acetic acid and water now talking about the substances so we need many things in our daily life maybe in our home in our industries okay so these substances they are available in the form of mixture and they have many impurities in them for example talking about rice wheat pulses whatever do we eat it contains many small stones husk etc so before cooking them we need to you know clean it thoroughly we need to clean it properly so that they become edible talking about salt that is very important substance okay in our food for taste and nutrients so it is formed or we are getting it from sea but there also we need to separate it out okay now in case of pure water impurities of water they need to be removed okay and for crude oil for petroleum oil we are getting many substances from that diesel kerosene oil petrol etc and they are separated and then they are used as fuels now se uh, separation it is very necessary why because sometimes we need to remove some harmful or undesirable substances to get the useful substances and to obtain pure substance for preparing other things now what are the separation techniques that we have first of all we can separate the constants of a mixture from one another okay to get the pure substance this process it is known as separation and the principle of separation it depends upon what type of mixture it is what are the properties of mixture okay like what is the size what is the shape what is melting boiling point or okay it, it is having magnetic nature or what is density what is color etc so these all things are very important when we select a method for separating any mixture now let us have some example for different type of mixture different methods are applied for example there can be separation of solid solid mixture solid liquid mixture or gas liquid mixture okay so these are the things which are we uh, which we need to take into account for separating the mixtures and now we will be seeing all these properties in our next session 
so what is meant by mixture it is a combination which is uh, not by a definite proportion or a definite ratio it is just a combination or mix up of different substances okay for example a lemon squash for example uh, oil and water so these are the example of mixture homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture so since homo means same homogeneous mixture means the mixture where the properties are uniform throughout we cannot see the different phases and we cannot separate them using simple physical methods and hetero means different so we can see different two or more phases and uh, we can see the different phases we can separate them out physically for example if i talk about oil in water and homogeneous it is salt mixed in water now let's do an activity okay so the mixture of mustard oil in water forms heterogeneous mixture brass it is the mixture um, it is a mixture of copper and zinc and dash is a mixture of various gases like oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen argon neon etc so air air is a mixture all right so what are the things that we have learned today we learned about mixture their properties types and how to or i'm sorry what is the need to separate the mixtures so we will be learning different techniques to separate the mixture in our next class so let us meet in the next class till then just keep learning keep revising and have your trial class and tell me the experience thank you let's meet in the next class